Hi, welcome to tonight's study in the book of Proverbs. We're going to be in Proverbs chapter 10 once again. This time we'll be studying verses 13 and 14. Um, but first I wanted to ask how the homework went, how you stacked up against uh, love, how you stacked up against Jesus. And um, it's something that you should do from time to time. Plunk your name in there and see how, how you know, God can use that powerfully in your life to, to point out ways that he wants you to be more like his son. Um, how's all the homework been going? Have you been uh, praying and then reading at least one chapter of God's word each day? And have you been using a journal? Have you been writing down your prayers so that you can keep track of what you're praying? Not like read them every day, but to, to have them written down so you won't forget what you're praying about, and you will, but also so that you can keep a record of what God's done in response to your prayers. And uh, Have you been thinking about and uh, the Proverbs that you use in your own life, secular and biblical, uh, and um, writing them down? Have you been praying that uh, God would send somebody to you to ask you about Jesus? And if he hasn't done it, continue to pray that prayer until he does. And if he has, I suggest praying it until he sends somebody else. Um, have you been knocking on his door every day and asking for wisdom and asking him daily what pleases him, how you can please him? Have you been asking him to direct your steps before you read his word? Because you ask him in prayer and then he uses the Bible to direct your steps, to convict you. That's, that's how the Holy Spirit works a lot of times. If you are not reading the Bible, you can hear from God. He can use anything that he wants to use. But you have a much better chance if you read and then read his uh, and pray and then read his word. Have you uh, provided a Bible for someone? Or, or have you been a Bible for someone? Have you been praying about what God wants you to do with your resources? Now, we don't want them. There's much bigger needs in, in the world um, than this ministry. This ministry's been blessed, we have enough. It's not a very high cost ministry, so uh, this is not a pitch. But have you been spending time on your knees asking him what to do with your money? Because it's his money that he blessed you with. And, and likewise, what you should be doing with your talents, which were also a blessing that he gave you when you were born. And, and he's developed over time. And, and so you need to know exactly what he wants you to do with those talents and with that money. Have you been uh, praying somebody into God's kingdom? Have you been asking them how to provide for that neighbor who knocks on your door at midnight and says that travelers have stopped at his house and he needs something? Remember that when we studied that? Have you been praying either for yourself or for somebody else that God would grant you parenting wisdom in these trying times of, of raising children? Have you been recording prom each week? Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back and, and start to study the other studies that we've done so you can know what prom is. But it's P-R-O-M-E, and it stands for prayer, reading God's word, obedience, ministry, and evangelism. And what you can do is you can go to the website, which is how you got to this study tonight, and go to the, um, I believe it's in the blog section, and all the homework is, is listed there. Actually, it's in the vlog section. Underneath the studies, you'll find the homework if you scroll down. So let's get into uh, God's Word. Chapter 10, verse 13 says, Wisdom is found in the words of the discerning person, but the one who lacks wisdom will be disciplined 
And 14 says, Those who are wise store up knowledge, but foolish speech leads to imminent destruction. So once again, we're seeing this pattern. The wise, they do speak when they have something to add to the conversation, but the fool's speech always leads to destruction because it's not based on knowledge. And what we should do is, as we read these Proverbs each week, because as I've explained several times, they're, you can use them in practical life, but they're spiritual. If you really want to be deep in this book, you have to understand that these are spiritual in nature. And you need to have them wash over you. Just, just allow God's Word in general to wash over you. I love to, to study His Word and know what it means and look at the history and look at the archaeology and look at the text criticism and all this kind of stuff. But sometimes I wind up saying, wow, I, I just want to let it wash over me. I just want God to speak to me. And that's, that's how He does it. Um, because you see, each one of us is wise and each one of us is a fool. It's, you know, hopefully as we study and, and spend time on our knees and then go back and study some more and go back and spend more time on our knees, then, then we'll spend more time in wisdom than we will in foolishness. But we're both every week. You know, I could do a 10-hour study on the times in the, the past year that I've been a fool. I'm not going to bore you with that because you probably have a list that's just as big, or maybe just as big. Um, a wise man once said that uh, with knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit, but wisdom is knowing not to put it into a fruit salad. And that's what we want. And you'll see this in, in, um, in a lot of the Proverbs, that you have knowledge, you build knowledge, you build knowledge, and it's a spiritual knowledge. And you get spiritual wisdom, and spiritual wisdom, and spiritual wisdom, and it builds upon itself. The more knowledge, the more wisdom. The more wisdom, the more knowledge you're going to want. And often, as in, as in a lot of these Proverbs, you gain wisdom. You gain the knowledge to get wisdom by listening more and speaking less. This is being said by a man who's doing all the talking here. And that being said, I'll close with this, that another wise man once said that since light travels faster than sound, some people appear bright until you hear them speak. Until next time, God bless you.